Yes then guys, how are we doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel for a new player view. The mini release is here for Shapeshifters week number four and Tim Cahill is basically the headliner out with the three players available. And I'm not surprised, he's got 90 stats across the board, really nice looking card, Premier League links, four star, four star, high medium for a CDM, a little bit questionable. I don't know if his preferred position in game should be a CDM or we should be playing him as more as like a box to box centre mid. Full disclaimer, this is a draft. We're in a draft squad, as you can see here, boys. So Chemstyle has been auto-selected for me, and it is a catalyst. At least we get the pace boost, which is nice. Realistically, I don't know what Chemstyle you would give him. Catalyst actually works out quite nicely, because he max out the pace and fine-tune his weakest stat, which is the passing stats. But going forward, the shooting, the finishing, the shot power, with the 93 composure, I have high hopes this man should be able to bag goals, of course. The heading accuracy is 99. This man is known for leaping like a salmon and bagging cheeky headers. Strength, aggression, stamina, all fantastic attributes for that kind of a pitbull-esque CDM, which is nice. Defensively really solid. Maybe it comes down to boost that in all fairness. Yeah, maybe even a shadow if you want to play him as an out-and-out -out CDM. Dribbling-wise, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how I'm expecting this man to be. If I'm going to think he's going to be a little bit clunky or maybe he's going to surprise me. I don't think he's got a lean body type in game. I think he's a little bit on the stocky side. So, so we shall see today, boys. No real player, player trades apart from power header, obviously. That was expected. But the card itself does look sick. I will check his price after this review. But the team, I'm using it in the draft, boys. It is what it is. We had to make do with the, the shocking chemistry options down here. 98 chem. Don't hate on me too much. But drop me a like if you're excited. Let me know down below what you think of Timmy Boy Cahill. And let's get into the gameplay. All right, what draft team is my opponent rocking then, boys? 100 chem, a little bit better than me. He's got Kante, some questionable cards in there. I need to play more draft in all fairness, lads. The only real reason I went into this draft is because there was no SBCs. I was like, why not give it a go? We might get Cahill, for example. And the cheeky man pops up instantly. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to try him out properly. What I might do here is actually sub in Torres for this man, Blast. And leave it as it is. We got some mad strikers. Mbappe, Werner, Pele. I feel like uncomfortable going forward. But of course, the main man, Kim Cahill. That's why you're here. Let's see if he's any good. Nice interception. Right, he's a little bit on the stonky side. Stonky? <laughs> New word I'm making up. The stocky side. He looks like a bit of a tank. Which could work out quite nicely with the strength and aggression on the card. Uh, but lovely interception. Lovely little ball out wide here to Pele. I want him drifting forward. I want him leaping like a salmon in the box, boys. The whole aim of this... Well, it's not the whole aim. Obviously, we'll see how good he is. But I would love to bag a header with a man. All right, Tim. Four-star, four-star. Nice little ball in there. Little dink maybe over the top. Tim! Boys, he's been absolutely nuked by my opponent's goalkeeper. And we get the jammiest goal ever with Werner poking it home. Nice little bit of movement, though. He feels pretty lively. He looks pretty lively off the blocks. Ah, it's too easy. The aggression. You're going to notice that play a big role in those uh, nitty-gritty interceptions, tackles, hard-hitting challenges in the middle of the park. Timmy boy. But a switch of play, lad. Passing is very nice. Obviously, it gets boosted with the Catalyst Chem style as well, which is the one which I'll be given in the draft. Uh, so we will definitely try and pick a few passes with this man. Torres. I like that he's just sitting deep right now. Obviously high medium work rates, uh, which doesn't really help him as a CDM. But bobbing forward, Tim. Lost the power on the strike, but easy save. You know what, Timo Werner feels nice on the ball, lads. Lovely pick out as well. And Kylian Mbappe smashes it home. 2-0 to the boys. We're doing good. A little bit slow off the blocks. The dribbling, the lack of the agility and the balance, I guess the body type is really what I'm noticing. It is noticeable, and he does feel a little bit slow to get going. Tim, he's been absolutely annihilated, but finds the ball to Werner. So far, every pass he's tried to make is pulled off perfectly. He's a little bit injured, but still another ridiculous ball out to uh, Mr. Timo. But I'm actually quite enjoying his card at the moment. Killian! It's kind of our again. I'll tell you what, the movement there wasn't too bad. He swapped from his right foot to a left foot quite easily. 
for the finesse shot. There's not enough power on it. Ah, my opponent gets one back. Edin Visca on the score sheet. A little bit of a threat going forward, this man. Big leap, Tim. Yes. Defensive headers. That's another thing you've got to think is going to be in his game as well. Even though he's not the tallest player, he knows how to use his body, loops like a salmon and clears it out. So far, really enjoying the card. The obvious things that may be letting him down, especially at this stage of the game, is the body type. He definitely feels a little bit more on the clunkier side of things, a little bit slower on the ball. Uh, but that's fine, man. That's fine. He makes up for it in other departments, that is for sure. Oh, boys, that's a goal. Can't do much about that. My defence is nowhere near. Edin Visk has basically stood with 17 miles of open space. And it's two all lads. We're looking so confident at the first half. It's falling apart. I'm noticing the high, uh, high medium work rates. Even without triggering a run, he is very determined to support the play going forward. That can work out quite nicely. But when you're in a formation like me, a 4 triple 2 in this draft, it's a little bit dangerous if he's leaving Gwendozi alone by himself. Um, but luckily we're doing alright, nice interception there, that's the aggression, the Pitbullesque attitude that he's got. Nice bit of play from the boys, lovely bit of play from the boys. Tim coming in, finesse shot territory, he's been annihilated on the edge of the box, it's not a free kick though, unfortunately. Poor Tim Cahill man, is getting bullied, he's getting sliced and diced in this team. Oh wow, ridiculous pass. Unbelievable how we've not conceded that. So <laughs> what? Is it we blocked it off the line? Is it the post or something? Mad. I'll take that little bit of fortune. Go on, Timo. Oh, Timo Werner. Unbelievable bit of play. The pace from the German. And Ferran Torres out of nowhere, boys. Snatch and grab. Can we hold on, though? Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. The answer to that question is no. Beautiful ball. Beautiful ball, Werner. What on earth is that, lad? One more pass into Killian and we would have been in. Wow. Wow. Visca again. This man is unbelievable. Is that a left foot finesse shot from there? I'm, I can't believe that's got in, to be fair. And there it is. The dagger. The final blow. 5-3, lads. It looks like I am going sailing out around one here. Timo, we're still alive. We're not out of this yet, boys. Come on! So, guys, it looks like the draft dream is coming to an end, unfortunately. Valiant effort from the boys. I'm not gonna lie, majority of times I end up doing draft reviews, the man I'm playing against it is sweaty. The only sweats play this game mode or something. I need to get off of it, lads. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not, I don't think I'll touch a draft again at this rate, lads. And I did the foot champs and division rivals. Uh, but GG's to my opponent. Tim Cahill was respectively good, in all honesty. The stats definitely live up to it. He is a very usable card. I'm intrigued to know what his price is as it stands. There's definitely gonna be some early doors hype similar of every mini release card. So as it stands, my man is sitting in the 1 million, or oh, just dropping, good. He doesn't deserve to be any more than 900k, lads. I reckon, realistically for this card, three to 500k is a nice price bracket for him. He shouldn't be any more expensive than that. Unfortunately, he just doesn't fit the meta mold, which is lean body type, quick, agile. What I do like about him though, the aggression. I like the power that he has. He wins challenges. He's feisty. He's got that pit bull style. Going forward, he should be somewhat clinical for you. Obviously, the aerial ability is nice, but he is only 5'10", so don't expect too much. If you want to pay him as a CDM, high, medium work rate, that's up to you. But me personally, I'd rather medium high or maybe medium, medium or high, high in that department because uh, you don't want him to track it up or bobble the pitch too much and leaving your other CDM slash center mid by himself to do all the defensive duties. Passing, no issues whatsoever. Pace, he wasn't too slow, but didn't feel super quick. That's probably his body type in game, letting him down a little bit, but still a very nice card. If you're thinking about picking him up, definitely hang fire. Don't buy him at this price because he's going to drop, boys. All right. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy. I need to go lie down because it is damn hot in the UK at the moment and my setup is not built for this weather, guys. So I'll catch you very soon with another view, all right? Take it easy.